Hello, and welcome to a Let's Play of Phynom Alethea by Nab Epicure, also known as Epicure. This is, going, this is going to be a Let's Play, and a start of something that I'd like to do, where I will play work in progress hacks, give them a spotlight, and hopefully give them some feedback and more attention. Basically, I'm filling in for where Pan, the void that Pandan left off when he quit YouTube. This is a 14, currently a 14 chapter demo, and it is currently planned to have about 20 to 25 chapters. The premise is what happens after the fi Fire Emblem game? What, what happens after a Fire Emblem game? What happens when the, the evil dark demon lord is defeated and everybody is trying to get back to normal? What occurs then? So without further ado, Let's get going. I will not be reading the story, and I unfortunately have to skip the chapter starting event because the past few times I have attempted to record this, it has broken, and I apologize. Okay. So, let's take a look at our starting spot. We have the Lord Serenity, and she has ASGS plus 4 during combat if HP is something that's meant to be. Uh, equal to or greater than instead of just greater than 100%. So that's very nice. Standard array of Pegasus Knight growths. But she is a Flying Lord, which is very awesome. And then we have her Jagan Zoe. And she comes with Mercy and Bow Range plus one, which is awesome standard Jagan gross bar that 8% magic growth very nice HP resin skill gross middling strength and speed and pretty mediocre pretty bad defense but that's to be expected of an archer honestly then we have Teo Axeman of Tessa Tessa and he comes with certain blow plus twenty hit when initiating battle, and standard fighter growth minus that fifty percent skill. Teo's very skillful. I'd say so at least. That is with weapon triangle advantage, and last but not least, Tin. He has lunge. And that's about what I'd expect standard from a cavalier minus that strength growth, strength and speed growth, but he does have pretty nice HP growth. This hack also does feature dismounting. I forgot to mention that, but as you can see here, it has them, has that, which that will probably come in handy, especially with things like Sereni, since it can remove her weakness to bows like here oh yeah that's another very cool thing about Alethea every generic enemy has a portrait as you can see here bosses obviously have portraits actually Tin can I mean not Tin, Teo can one shot this enemy, so let's do that. Got some snazzy battle music, and let me just check. I like this purple one best. Aha! Nice! That's wonderful, actually. And... I can keep out of range of every enemy unit if I have her move here as well. So I'll do just that. Oh, and some nice battle animations. I believe they're custom, but they might be based off of another animation, I believe. But that's still very awesome. And then 
Teo will be the one to take on this guy because I do not intend to experience weapon triangle disadvantage. I, I don't know why I'm even commentating all my moves. I don't think I need to because, you know, this isn't like a how-to or anything. This is just showcasing the hack off. Oh, and he has his sword reefer. I should have noticed that. He, he's perfect for actually Tin to take care of. What do you have, though? Yeah. It's a treasure. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. Love that. Sure, I'll do that for now. All righty. I more than likely will be doing an Iron Man or a pseudo Iron Man. I'll probably reset if I if I'm early enough or if I lose Sereni or another game over unit, but otherwise I probably won't reset for units if I'm too far in the map. Sorry for bringing that sense of I had to think. You know how how it, how it is occasionally. Looks like I'm just gonna have to buckle up and deal with that guy for now. Actually, I don't have to necessarily. All right. Zoe definitely seems like a very great Jagan character. Already, she'll be fine there. I haven't even taken advantage of, um, Tin's personal skill yet. <laughs> I'm sure it'll become very useful later on, though. Actually, I can make use of it right now and get back to starting position. Now, sorry, I'm just gonna get back to my rest of my his allies, my my units. Oh, we're not. I could have sworn lunch had Kanto tied to it, but I might be mistaking it for another feature, or maybe it was changed in this ROM hack. Cause I know that there is quite a bit of ASM written for this hack. Alrighty. Don't know if I can do this skillfully. Well, not skillfully, just. Yeah. Alrighty. First level up. Let's go. Actually, pretty nice. 
He gained some res with his quite low resistance growth, so that's nice. <laughs> Let's go, Teo. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that with Tin, I think. Tyne? I do not know how it is intended to be pronounced. I'm going to have to have Zoe deal with this one, I believe. <laughs> yeah. I guess I could have had her use Mercy, but I... I'd rather not have her do that. <laughs> ha ha! Let's go! <laughs> you, this is... Oh! Lovely, actually! The power of the dismount feature, <laughs> getting one percent Chris. That's that's nice. <laughs> awesome. Also, yes, I mean quite slow. I know. Let's do this. I quite like actually how Teo is pretty tanky, almost similar to an armor knight, actually, with his base HP at least. Makes him pretty nice for dealing with the excuse me, scarier enemies. Sure, let's bait with Serenity. All right. And all right. Yeah, I'll risk it. He does have that pretty nice hit chance, thankfully. Guessing Tail will be able to easily circumvent weapon triangle disadvantage later on. Oh, and it has the flashy patch. That's awesome. Nice. HP, speed, luck, and resistance. Awesome. And of course, I have two C's now. That was chapter one of Alethea. Finished. All right. <sighs> Looks like a few variants are suffering from PTSD, actually. Which is interesting. 
Anyway, let's leave it there for now. Oh, it has th that ASM where that's actually really cool. All right, and goodbye.